Okay, so this was a screencast I was asked to do um, regarding importing uh, PDF files, scaling them, um, and then drawing on top of them. Sometimes we have that uh, scenario when uh, designers have maybe drawn in another package or even just sent a PDF rather than sending the whole uh, Vectorworks file. <coughs> Excuse me. So first thing we need to do is file uh, import the PDF. So um, we'll take that as a fairly quick step. Um, let's see if I remember where I put it. We're just importing this Bally PDF um, at the moment. Okay, so that's pretty much that step. File, import, PDF, find the PDF, and there it is online. What we don't know at the moment is to whether this is to scale. Chances are it isn't. Um, if we take our um, tape measure here, which is an, as long as we're in the spotlight workspace, uh, the tape measure should be in your basic tool palette. And if we just zoom in a little bit, we handily have a five meter scale bar there. So if I take my um, tape measure along there, you see it's reading 10 meters. So it's made a guess at scale or it's brought it in or it was saved at um, a scale. So anyway, what we need to do is um, scale this up to make sure it's the, the, the lines on the drawing represent uh, are to scale. So, there's a, an excellent tool under Modify, Scale Objects, and Symmetric by Distance is what we want. So if I click this little uh, this little icon here, it uh, what it's asking me to do is to click something on the line, then it will tell it how long that line, how long I want that line to be, or how long that line is supposed to be, and then it will scale the whole drawing. Uh, a little tip here, it's difficult to get, because I'm, I don't have any snapping going on here, um, then it's quite difficult to get the uh, these this line or this measurement accurate. So if you press Z on the uh, keypad, we have a temporary zoom in option. It just saves me zooming in and out of the drawing. And if I hold down shift, I'll get it locked to zero degrees. And there, so it's telling me that the current distance is 10,006. And I've run through this previously, so I don't make... Uh, mistakes. So uh, it doesn't matter what's typed in there. What I want that distance to be is 5,000. I'm going to scale the entire drawing. OK. And yes, I do want to scale the entire drawing. So now that drawing has been rescaled so that that line there and any other lines, see that now is, I don't know if you can read that, five, it's, it's 5,000. It's just that I'm zoomed out quite far. So our drawing is scaled now, so that's that's important. So I'm now just going to draw straight on top of this um, PDF uh, to trace the elements I need to trace. Now I'm going to be using reference files for this because I talked about them previously and I think it's uh, a way that we might work uh, in the future. So um, I don't need to trace anything uh, of the venue which I know exists in another drawing. All I'm interested in is the masking here really for this exercise. So I'm going to use the uh, double line tool here and I'm going to assume that the flats um, have a thickness. See on here it's only a line but I'm going to use a double a double line polygon tool uh, 25 mil or uh, an inch and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to create polygons. So uh, and also, um, I'm going to use this bottom control line mode because the line I'm interested in is the on stage side. So I so say yeah, I'm going to just do this kind of quickly. There, there's one, and there's there's two flats there. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to duplicate those, and I'm going to move those up to represent the other one. So this. It's fairly quick, uh, and I'm going to. I could use my uh, Z tool again to do this. So there's those three drawn, and if I select, you see I have six polygons there. So I'm not going to draw those again. I'm going to mirror them as best I can across the other side. And there's something interesting there. So these look like they've been hand drawn and the angle um, is there may be a good reason for it but the angle is different stage left to stage right so all i'm doing here is i'm clicking 
taking the rotate click and that up. There's even different lengths in here as well. So on first look, this looks like it's a fairly rough drawing and not uh, as accurate as we might have expected. Anyway, so that's all the masking drawn. I'll just not do that. Just control <laughs> command Z at that. Yeah. Um, See, so it's that easy to forget that you're working on a single design layer here. So rather than drawing a box around them, I'll click them all. So we've got 12 polygons. I'm going to do one extra thing, which will become obvious in a second. I'm going to put a datum point and a locus point right there at zero, zero, and that will become obvious in a minute. Once I've done the datum point, I can get rid of the um, the PDF, because I was only using that uh, in order to get where the uh, the these things were in the, in reference to the stage. If we take a little um, measurement at the moment, we'll just take a maybe maybe leave this as well to the back of the proscenium. Straight down is so that was it's kind of two, four, two, three. Diff difficult to see at the moment. I can just do it with the ruler with the tape measure. So it's about two, four, two, two, four, four, zero oh ish. Okay, so I can get rid of this now, and I'm left with yeah. So if you remember what we did with um, uh, the reference file, so now I'm going to bring in a new reference file. New reference file. Um, I'm going to use Dropbox uh, Athenium and bring it in. Um, I want to bring in some layers, so I'm going to bring in this, say the stage level, the prompt side wall, the stage walls, um, let's look, stage level, I'm not sure if this is right, I can always go back and get more of them, uh, bring this in, uh, references, and just check, that's fine, okay, um, and we're going to bring them in as layers, if you're not sure what I'm doing here, check out the reference file, um, uh, reference file screencast, which I've already done. So, so nothing seems to have happened at the moment. Um, I did this previously, so I kind of know what's happened here. So, um, what's maybe not obvious is that the layers have come in one to one, and our drawing here that we were working on is one to fifty. So I need to make sure. If you ever lose things and weird things happen, it's one of the things to check. Check these, um, uh, where's uh, scale? Scale there, sorry, 1 to 50. So check that all your layers are the same scale, and there we go. Now, there's obviously these are, that's the datum point I brought in there, and that's not on 0, 0, that's why I put it in. So if I select all the objects I've just brought in, these things here, and this is what uh, a, a little cheat that I've kind of discovered. It may not be the best thing to, or the best way to do this, but I'm going to create a symbol out of this called um, uh, masking. And the reason that I can do that is I can define where zero is within the symbol. So when I do masking, the insertion point will be on the next mouse click. When I go OK, see I've done this previously, and I say that's the insertion point of my symbol there. And I'm putting it into Untitled 1, which is where I'm working at the moment. So because that symbol now has an insertion point, all I need to do is to say, make that insertion point 0. And it will place that on the 0, 0 point of the drawing. Now, the reason I've got the dock is I must have brought in the... Uh, the dock is, was one of the, the levels. It's one of the layers here. Doc. Um, so there we have it. So there, I could now, um, I can, I, I could, I can continue to work on this. I can do my, uh, my, um, my dimensioning. Check that was two four something or others back to the back of the proscenium. So it all looks like it's in the right place. But that kind of idea about using the reference file and creating a symbol in order to um, place it back at uh, the zero zero point 
um, it's just something I've just um, stumbled on this morning, so it um, might be of use to you. Have a little try um, and let me know what you think.